Uh, right after we incorporated, got our email addresses as Dan described, the first thing we did, we put on our ties and we flew right to Wall Street. And we went, opened the door to a hedge fund and said, guess what we're doing? We're gonna do near real time overhead monitoring from above, everywhere. It's gonna be awesome. And then we slid the paper across their desk and just said, you know, just sign here. We're, we're good to go. We're gonna, we're gonna be partners, right? And, and as you might surmise, there was no deal to be had. Th those guys looked at us and said, yeah, it's cute and all, but come back to us when you're real. Come back to us when you have real data. Well, it turns out that's a real challenge. We're gonna get real data from a satellite that was still years away from being reality. So we looked at ourselves and looked at each other and said, well, what do we do? How do we, how do we provide interim proof points in, in a business where the real milestone is putting things in space at, at large cost? You know, it turns out Skybox is a lot more like uh, a medical device company or a semiconductor chip fab in that you put a gazillion dollars in before you get one dollar out and before you have that alpha product. I mean, we're four years in, we still don't have a product and we're working towards it. So we put our heads together and came up with, well, okay, we're engineers. So we busted out our laptops and started to write, you know, in MATLAB, made ourselves some simulated imagery, held that up to customers. Nah, didn't do much. So then we said, okay, we'll buy up all the satellite imagery that we can find today and, and hold that up to customers. And so, well, just imagine, close your eyes, that instead of six months old, this is one hour old. Instead of a still picture, it's video. And instead of being two grand, it's gonna be 20 bucks. It got a little bit of the juices flowing in the customers, but still wasn't enough. So finally, we said, screw it, and we went and bought a Learjet and drilled a hole in the bottom and put a camera to be able to fully replicate what we're gonna see from space. Well, that, that helped, actually, quite a bit. Uh, and it was pretty fun in, in, in the process. Um, and, and so in doing so, as we finally got out and engaged with a bunch of customers, we realized that the people that were going to work with us initially weren't those hedge funds. They, it was a bridge too far. It turns out that the folks that were most interested, had the most pain today that we could help solve, were international organizations and governments that didn't really want to go through the hassle of putting up, designing, and flying spacecraft themselves, they just wanted to borrow time on our first or second spacecraft as it flew over their territory. And that was, for us, it was a big shock. We, we, didn't, we didn't appreciate that fully until having gone through the process of identifying and creating that, that proxy product. 